Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 6. Alright, the previous episode um, we saw Senku making a armored car uh, with like, like paper, with paper, you know, paper and plastic. The armor is like made out of that. And that was really impressive, I have to say. Like, you know, who even thinks of stuff like this? Like, he, like, he's, like, he's brilliant. Like, that is, like, uh, there's no question about that. But he is creative. Like, you have to give that to him. Like, he's brilliant, he's creative. Because, like, creativity is completely different from brilliance. So, yeah, like, <laughs> like, good job, Senku. Like, you, like, like, he does stuff which no one would even think about. And every time, like, Gen goes, like, how, what the hell is he even doing? Like, how does he even come up with these things? And that's quite true. Like, how does he even come up with these things? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, like, <clears throat> that was the thing that Sengu did. And Chrome, uh, I'm guessing Chrome is also going to try to break out. And um, let's see, like, uh, who goes there first? Like, does Sengu, like, uh, reach there first to save Chrome? Or does Chrome break out first? Or do they, you know, like, do it at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> let's just see let's see like what happens and how this goes so yeah without further ado let's get started with dr stone season 2 episode number 6 all right so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's a countdown three two one go Hmm. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he is extremely sad. Like this is like his, you know, like his children. You are hundred percent correct. Yes. Oh, what the hell? What was that hat? <clears throat> oh, this is that girl uh, in season one. You know the blonde girl. Oh, this is the other guy. <clears throat> police martial arts competition. Oh, he's a police officer. <clears throat> oh, a part of him has not unpetrified. Oh, he uses a tonfa. That's a tonfa, isn't it? <clears throat> All right, let's see. Okay, so two new characters. Um, not new, as per se. Like the girl was introduced in season one. Uh, like, uh, like she was that girl who was, you know, uh, sitting. Uh, like there's like this one scene when like uh, Sukasa and all of them were like you know roaming about and that girl was like sitting at a height and like looking at and like talking with them that was the only time she was you know introduced in season one and then again we see her here in this episode <clears throat> we don't even know her name so I'm guessing she's like a side character but the other guy Yo his name is Yo it's quite easy to remember <laughs> <laughs> and he so he, I, i'm sure like he's one of the main like you know main supporting characters so because obviously we see him in the ending and he's sukasa's like personal you know uh, like uh, sukasa's uh, like trusted person one of the trusted persons So this guy worked worked at a sonar. This guy is like a police officer, I'm guessing, 
and she's a gymnast and uh like the other girl uh, nikki was a student i'm guessing she was just a student wasn't she yeah she just loved like you know listening to lillian's voice lillian's songs all right hmm Oh yeah, yeah, this is what I was saying, you know, like, how is he going to do? He only has rocks and bamboo. <laughs> no, that, oh. Um, don't mind me, sir. <laughs> like, you can just distract these guys and, you know, break through the bamboo. Like, it's just bamboo, you know. Oh, hello. Oh, he's here. <clears throat> oh, damn, he has a... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, this guy is pretty... Ha ha ha. <clears throat> it's pretty buff, you know. Glamour for the... Okay, this is past, I'm guessing, backstory. Look at the smile. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, he is pretty ruthless. Yeah, he is um pretty ruthless, you know. <clears throat> Oh my god. He is perfect for Sukasa, you know? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> He's a simple-minded guy. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm I'm thinking, like his motivation is like you know the girl. So, I was thinking, like, anyways, I'll, I'll talk about it later on. Primitive. Oh, ho, ho, you're making a mistake, sir. Yeah, don't worry, like, you are a lot more n not primitive than he is. Like, you know, you're a scientist. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, okay, good job. Like, all right. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. 
What the hell? Uh, okay, what did he bring? Let's see. He just was like picking up grass. Dandelion, sorrel, right? Sorrel. Wait, what? Um, it's not that time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay thank god they're like you know <laughs> like stupid okay it's, <clears throat> it's making fire all right it's quite difficult you know making a fire yeah like that uh Like you can make, you know, ro oh, that will make noise. <laughs> Is he acting or something? Oh, this must be that guy, you know, uh, the guy with good hearing. I think so. I'm sure it's that guy, the sonar guy. I cannot remember his name, but um... <laughs> oh yeah, he still hasn't seen them. Damn. <laughs> the way they showed that, oh my god. The innuendo. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, he is here. Okay, um that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Good job that acted as uh you know, camouflage. No, um, okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> one of those guys, I can see. Like, he's pretty carefree. But also, um, uh, okay, like, good thing you're having your fun, like, that's important, especially <laughs> in this. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Like, ignore them. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they are going to, you know, start yeah, underestimating him. Oh boy. Like Oh, okay. <clears throat> Damn. Okay, uh, yeah, salt water. Yeah, they need salt water now. Toilet, you know? Oh, sweat. Ah, oh, what the hell did I say? Like I was thinking urine, you know? 
I was thinking that he was going to use his own urine. Or is he really going to do it? He's using his sweat. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like, I, I kind of... <laughs> like, I was thinking a little bit too far. Okay, he used his sweat. <laughs> Okay, let's go. All right. Now sodium hydroxide. There you go. Come on. Oh. Ah, there it is. Good job. <clears throat> but now comes the tough part. You have to run away. Like there's a guard in front of you. And Yo is also there, I'm, I think, like waiting. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Piercing <laughs> 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 skill. <laughs> Oh. Damn! Wrong! Yeah, they, they would be able to do this pretty easily. Okay, so yeah, where are the traps? Oh yeah, he knows it. He memorized it. Oh, Yokun. <laughs> Yokun. <laughs> yup, underestimating your enemy is quite fatal, you know. <laughs> okay. Okay, his name is Ukyo, I forgot it. Oh my god, he is pretty strong. Chrome, just go, go. Like you know Senku is also coming. Like like they can pick you up midway. Oh no. Yeah, now what? Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, he is not accustomed to fighting. Gain skill, you know, BSing skill. Where is this coming from? No, I think this is some kind of berry, you know. The berries or something he picked from the bushes or something. This is berries, like, you know, the... <laughs> oh! 
Amazing. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> okay, that works every time. Like, <laughs> like I always think, you know, like when there's a strong enemy in front of you in animes, why don't they do this? <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is an instant win technique, and people won't even see it coming, you know. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Good job. Like, he just came here on his own. Like, Sengu didn't even need to go. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, good job. <laughs> Ah. Okay, so where did that blood red red thing came come from? <laughs> Sengu's like wow. Oh, sodium hydrochloride. Oh, okay. I was also saying sodium hydroxide. Okay. Yeah. Ten billion points for you. <laughs> yeah, what he they're using. <laughs> oh yeah where did that come from like a little blood is from him hitting him i'm sure that's some kind of a berry you know he he took from the bushes or something um no he's using gans special kill skill Exactly. Okay, there we go. Resistance. Okay, they're not like technically, like they're not technically like berries, but something like that. Oxalic acid from soil. Okay, he used to do this before as well. <laughs> All right, good job. Like that was amazing. Like I really did not expect him, you know, breaking out on his own. Yeah, he used to. <laughs> Wait, he tasted that? Oh my God. What the hell, dude? Like. Uh, or, or did he not? Yeah, he tasted it. His face was, you know. So, <laughs> so after he got hit and fell unconscious, he came back to consciousness and then tasted that thing, which he didn't even know what it was. It could have been blood or anything else. He tasted that. This guy's crazy, man. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Yo, like, what the hell, yo? <laughs> okay, that was a really good episode. Um, I really was not expecting Chrome being able to do it without any help. Like, I thought maybe he was going to do something, but Senku was going to come, you know, midway and help him, again, like, uh, do the rest of it. But no, he did, like, completely himself and, like, ran away and, like, and even reached their place without, like, without Senku doing anything. 
that was good yeah like good job chrome like i have to say like props to that like he used like he practically had nothing you know inside that but oh uh, technically like ukyo kind of helped him i'm guessing that was ukyo or it might be someone else you know like either ukyo or taiju any one of them or maybe nikki or yuzuri i could have been also done it like we didn't even s okay that's the end like we saw a little bit of a silhouette but just a sec let me see like uh if i can recognize the person all right so here it is oh no it's a completely you know silhouette like we can't see who it was <coughs> chrome thought it was yuzuri ha and taiju but uh, I, I don't think they were the one. Uh, I'm sure like obviously Ukyo took the uh, like battery. So I'm sure Ukyo like returned it to him. Because he is, you know, planning something behind their backs. So yeah. Anyways, um, so that was this episode. Um, uh, as I said, before, like as I said that I was not expecting Chrome to do it on his own. Uh, that was something that was really unexpected. And I'm glad that he was able to do everything. Uh, from scratch and do any everything on his own and be able to you know uh run up out of the place uh like break out of the prison without senku even lifting a finger like i kind of thought that like he would have been able to do it but maybe like senku would come in and like help a little bit uh midway or like in the end almost at the end but no he did everything himself and that's really impressive so yeah all right so this episode um it was a good episode like we met a new character uh this uh guy uh yo so yo like he was a policeman and uh like i was like like seeing his character i can say one thing that he is he's kind of uh like he has a duality in his personality you know like why i'm saying this uh it's because like he's extremely you know like uh, like bad people are bad like they shouldn't have done this so like beat them up kill them off he's extremely you know serious in this front but on the other front he's extremely casual like the way he was you know underestimating chrome and kind of uh, like laughing saying that ah he's a primitive and like kind of making jokes and everything and <laughs> like uh, and also he easily got you know uh, kind of uh, like <clears throat> tricked by chrome in the end like uh, that was uh, like that was completely like different from the way we saw him you know in the other like in his past doing stuff like in the in uh, like when he was a policeman like he used to beat everyone up like that and obviously like he still has that like uh, personality but he also has this kind of a personality which is extremely like you know casual extremely and like, can't take a joke like extremely well it's kind of easily you know fooled uh, like that type of a person so that's why i said that his personality is kind of uh, you know 50 50 it's, it has a duality in it so yeah like it's really interesting to see like usually we see a person if it's like a you know anime character who's extremely serious he's extremely serious and like you know doesn't even laugh doesn't even like always says that yeah i have to do this because this is something that is right this is something that is correct he has that thing in him you know he uh, in, in that way he's kind of like sukasa almost like uh like you know the way sukasa like uh said that uh, we'll only uh like unpetrified people who are good people and like started killing off the others it's kind of like that like thinking about it in the way he said that yeah we should kill the people kill the bad people like uh wh what does it matter so in that way and but and at the same time he is also like you know laughing <laughs> and like making like jokes and also easily uh, like being manipulated kind of by chrome so yeah like that was a, quite interesting like his character is quite interesting <clears throat> yeah and uh, there was this another girl uh, who we saw in the first season uh, the blonde girl um uh, i don't know if she'll play a major role in this uh, like season or not but let's see uh, and yeah like those were the two new characters and in this episode we saw chrome um, like using almost nothing only the battery was the thing that he got like as an outside help 
to you know uh, fool all of these people and like run away from them there and uh, the the thing that he used uh, hydrochloric acid so he um all right so he, uh it's cl uh, so he did the whole electrolysis process like you know uh, passing electricity through water salt water salt water that means uh i'm guessing uh, with water h2o plus nacl that means yeah nas uh, hcl it, it comes into a cell okay so he, like salt water water contains salt salt which is nacl sodium chloride and water h2o okay and so he like used electricity in it so that means it's got a substitution reaction na uh, nac uh, no, uh, hcl and naoh sodium hydroxide and uh, uh, hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide those two were the you know uh, <clears throat> reaction that happened by passing electricity through it so naoh is a base is a strong you know alkaline thing as a strong base and uh, hcl is like an acid <coughs> so he used that to burn off the rope so that was good and um <clears throat> yeah and that and like he remembered what senku said like that was the main thing that helped him like he remembered like obviously he wouldn't he doesn't know chemistry like in this world there's, there's nothing like people don't teach chemistry don't know chemistry so he uh, like under like remembered everything from like senku so that was really that really helped him to do this and <laughs> and i was really impressed you know everything was quite impressive but you know what i was really impressed with <clears throat> the end like when chrome came to that cliff and there's like a huge waterfall he came and stopped there and yo came in I thought that so I, like you know how how my brain went my brain started suddenly started thinking so where is Senku going to come from like so how will Senku come here and save Chrome you know why because usually that is, that happens in all of the animes that I've seen at least most of the animes that I've seen like someone comes into a, in front of a cliff he is you know cornered and then suddenly the uh, other other people come in and help him. So that's the way I was thinking. So I was extremely impressed when he did something himself, where he was extremely overpowered, you know, like obviously he is not someone who is strong by any means. So I was uh, like, I was at that moment, I was thinking like, how is Senku going to come and save him from this mess? Like there is nowhere to come from. Like there's like a huge like a waterfall behind him. Uh, in front of it is like uh, this yoga is standing in front of him. So will Senku come from Yo's like behind from behind Yo? But how is he going to come there? Like how is he even going to know? I was thinking all of these things, and never did it cross my mind that Senku himself, like Chrome himself, can get out of this situation because that's something extremely unusual because he is quite overpowered at that moment, and because of you know anime tropes, usually someone else comes and helps in this like situation. That's the reason why I was so impressed with him. <clears throat> and uh, like, that was really unique. And the way also he thought uh, of everything. Like <laughs> how he started, you know, kind of acting bleed, like acting as if he had some kind of contagious disease. And like another thing I was impressed with, you know, uh, I thought maybe he was going to, you know, act uh, like kind of uh, as a, <clears throat> you know, a poor, not a, like a, 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 like unfortunate person who is going to die. And was going to you know act like play with his emotions with yo's emotions and going to trick his way through that but he didn't even do that he started <laughs> coughing and saying that my disease can be passed on into you which also i was not expecting like that was really smart and <laughs> especially like in this time like there's no medicine and anything <laughs> yo got freaked out at that and then came another surprise like i thought okay like he's doing this maybe he's going to take this like uh situation and like run away like take advantage of this situation he did not do that again <laughs> he took the stick and bashed his balls in oh my god that was amazing and 
you know i always think uh, i don't know why they never do this like in a lot of like <laughs> like when there's like a extremely strong enemy in front of you there's like a lot of uh, animes where situations like this happen why don't they do what chrome did in this episode like it's a uh, <laughs> like it's an immediate win it will be an immediate win like the person who is go- he's standing there won't even expect everything like you know he has been training for you know uh, five or six years he has been uh, has is extremely strong uh, for this day and like two rivals are standing in front of one another they'll have a good fight they won't like the the other person won't even see it coming like it would be an instant ko <laughs> <laughs> a good job chrome i i'm extremely impressed with him in this episode uh he really you know did an amazing job and <laughs> like he surprised me in a lot of ways in a single episode in two or three ways where which i really was not expecting him to go so yeah like uh amazing and <laughs> yeah so all right so the, like the main uh, you know the main star of this episode is crow so that's why like i'm talking about him only and otherwise uh, like <clears throat> the other things that happened in this episode was uh, the brief introduction from yo and we kind of got to know his you know uh, the way he does things his uh, personality is as i said before he is quite serious in like things a few things and he is quite you know casual in a, a lot of other things so it's kind of uh, you know uh, a duality in his personality but anyways um that and and what else yeah that was it like this was like really you know the chrome doing stuff and <laughs> like i wouldn't even thought about it like i kind of thought when he like you know uh, like when he said that uh, we need um uh, salt water i thought may- at the beginning at the first i thought that maybe he was going to again say that um i like i need to go to the you know uh, uh, like to to, uh, to the toilet and he will like again go outside and i thought there was like you know a little bit of a uh, water body here so he's going to take water from that but then i thought again that it's a river like it's not salt water so how is he going to get salt water and then i thought maybe is he going to use his own you know um urine like that's salt water that counts isn't it i thought that uh, then like that's when like how my <laughs> like brain worked at that moment and then when he started you know uh, taking off his clothes and like started doing push ups and everything and sweating I thought that oh so no he's not going to use his urine he's going to use his sweat so that also works so yeah that was good and <clears throat> but yeah like he did a good job senku didn't even have to do anything like senku was getting ready to go <laughs> and you know uh, infiltrate sink uh, scasa's base with that uh, thing like with that tank that he made but yeah they don't need to do it like th- the tank got saved they can use it in some other way you know they can even modify it if they can and they have the time now so it's all well and good so yeah chrome helped in a lot of ways by you know running out uh, like uh, escaping on his own uh, like yeah a good job like uh, that's really something impressive and <laughs> yeah guys so that was it uh, this was i have to say like in this um season uh it's the sixth episode in this season i have to say that this episode must be one of the best episodes because i was really you know i really enjoyed this episode especially uh, the way chrome completely broke that you know the usual anime trope of a uh, damsel in distress you know that's how how it usually happens like someone gets captured the other people have to go and save him and even if like a, he or she like breaks out of it on his own uh, in the end they kind of get stuck into some kind of a bad situations and like the other people have to come and save him or her anyways so i was kind of expecting like this to go in that direction as well but chrome said no 
he broke down the trope and like he <laughs> like escaped on his own and that's the reason why i was so impressed with this episode like i have to say this this must be one of the best episodes uh, like at least like in this in this season so yeah like i was extremely impressed with this episode like good like good job groven good job uh, like the uh, author who like <laughs> who made this so yeah so yeah guys and uh, thank you guys for watching so this was uh, Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 6 so if you guys enjoyed my reaction uh, press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and be sure to comment down anything you want to say or anything you want to share I'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh, I'll be back with another episode of Dr. Stone season 2 next week same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day